Uh, I'm Francisco, and today I'll be presenting my Evaluative module. Um, a little recap, mostly for for Ben. Um, my concept, my current concept statement is investigating the social interactions in sound collaboration. And one of the main questions is how can technology facilitate this collaborative uh, sound experiences? Um, my starting point was a project I did last semester. It was called Trinidad and it was a collaborative interface uh, meant for three players where each one of the players was playing a different kind of, uh, let's say, instrument or different kind of uh, sound. Um, Let's all play the drums. As you can see here, uh, it was very important to, to the users to have a looseless state of mind and openness. And there's, that is something I would, uh, will explore in, for my thesis. Um, so right now, I'm focused on what kind of experience I'm uh, exactly try to define with more detail um, what part of the, what, what kind of experience do I want these people to have uh, when engaged in these uh, activities. Uh, so a little bit of uh, analyzing the experience. Um, there, there is this classification of nature of participation in collaborative interfaces. Um, by situation, it could be collocated or remote collaboration, like for example, making music through the internet. Uh, focus is task oriented of creative engagement, which means improvisation basically. Um, and immediacy is real time sound generation or sound editing. Sound editing could be, for example, a sequencer where you create a sound piece and then you pass it to someone else and something like that. So, well, definitely my project is collocated um, in real time and I'll leave these two over there because I want to um, try to incorporate uh, things from both of the sides. Um, in terms of the role of the interface, um, um, I classify them in three like main areas. The intercommunication <clears throat> role where people are not really communicating. I mean, they are, but the focus of, uh, of attention is the interface. Uh, people communicate through the interface and not too much between each other, like directly. Uh, the mediation role is like you have the interface in the middle. Uh, it's not uh, really the focus of attention, but it is still important. In, like fostering communication and sometimes like driving like different behaviors and facilitation is okay the uh, the interface is like hidden and what is more important is communication like human to human directly um so i've been looking like i devoted myself like to look at every project i could <laughs> so I, i'm putting here some examples that may be a little weird but Okay, we got the Dance Central, which is a game uh, for the Kinect. And this is like exactly this. Uh, people, although it's like collective experience, people don't communicate between each other. What is more, uh, like they communicate through the interface, through an avatar. You don't even care who's, or who or how the people decide you is dancing. It's like you just look at, at the avatar. Um, the React table, uh, we had the chance with God like to try it like one month ago. Um, Martin Kaltenbrunner gave a talk over here in Tars at Parsons. Um, I, I really love this project, although like what I saw with her, like people were like dragged into the interface and they were not talking to each other. Um, I guess that one example that I, I like it, I like this Jamma Drum by Tina Blaine. It's like a predecessor of the reactable a little bit. Um, and it has different version. One is like 
completely musical interface and uh, there are like this game versions where you can play like a collective game. Um, it's really good all, and I guess that this would be like um, the interface is acting as a mediator here uh, and people do communicate between each other. Like I, I don't have the video here but uh, I saw how it worked. And also the work of uh, Theo Watson and Emily Goville. Um, the final work out of it was, um, it is uh, like this uh, record projected on the floor and you just like walk around and you uh, control the playback speed. It's a very, very simple gesture and what I like it about it, it's like uh, you, it is task oriented because you have to maintain like a constant speed, but there is some space for exploration. You could go slower, you can go faster. Um, yeah. And the Funky Forest, it's totally about exploration. There is no real task here, uh, just interact with the space and it's uh, mostly uh, meant for children, which is great. Uh, so I have some new questions now. Um, can we still have a rich, rich communicational experience between people when the interface is mediating the interaction? Like if, we, if you have the interface in the middle, can we still have a, like a good communication, like human to human? Um, can we foster improvisation with a task oriented interface? Um, and how people behaviors can be influenced and modified by the interface? Uh, that's kind of the questions that um, are new now that I'm on this module. Uh, I don't have the answer yet. Um, but I did a prototype uh, uh, which, is, which was kind of an extension of my previous one. Uh, the objective was how the interface could influence some behavior. Um, little description, uh, if you do this, you play a sound, you do this, another sound, and the third sound like this. Um, no constraints, no explicit constraints, but in this, this time I created like two modes. Uh, the first one is freestyle improvisation, and the second one is using a bass rhythm, and I wanted to see how like having a rhythm on the background uh, would influence your uh, behavior, yeah. Um, well, let's get to the video. That's uh, mode A, and she was just exploring the interface. I didn't tell them anything. Like, okay, go over there. <laughs> Don't ask me anything. That's the second case. Some observations, like some users prefer mode A, mode B. I, I definitely consider this prototype is not finished because I, the, my sample was very uh, little. I just did it last night. Um, but in mode B, like people feel the need to follow the music. Like they feel like, okay, this is what I want to do. Although I didn't tell them explicitly, like follow the music, try to create rhythm. They like feel they had to, they had to do that. Um, for some of them, it was like more confusing having a rhythm. Um, for example, the second user, she totally preferred like the improvisational uh, mode. Um, I was expecting like a more more different behavior between the two modes, and it wasn't that much. Um, but however, the users considered both experiences really, really different. Um, which is interesting. Um, yeah, thank you. 